What is up guys, this is Chad. Thank you for watching another Is That Chad Auto Reviews video. Today I'm gonna to be taking a test drive in the 2017 Chevy Cruze hatchback. Now, if you guys wanna see a full walk around of this car and list of all the features and specifications and my opinion on it, make sure you go back to my videos and take a look at the previous videos. I just uploaded a full walk around demonstration of this vehicle. In this video though, I will be taking this car on a test drive and showing you guys how this car performs in real world type of driving. Um, there's a few quick things before we get going on this car. This one is, like I said, a 2017 Chevy Cruze hatchback in the LT trim level. And in this one, you're going to get a 1.4 liter, 4 cylinder turbocharged motor. This motor produces 153 horsepower. 177 feet pounds of torque it is a six speed shiftable automatic transmission which gets you 29 miles per gallon in the city and 38 on the highway for an overall combined mpg of 32 so pretty nice this one's come with the uh, 16 inch wheels now if you get the higher end it comes with the 17 inch wheel and it will drive just slightly different um not too different though now this car does not what well, does not have a push button start or a smart entry system just a regular key right here let me go ahead and get this thing going get some ac on if you if you guys like this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share it to anybody that you know that may be in the market for one of these cars if you are in the market for one of these cars or the competitor's cars, make sure you go back to my video and take a look at that. Um, and I have tons of tons of content on there and that content continues to evolve and to grow. Um, so let's go ahead and get going in this. First things first, this is a very spacious car actually. You're very, very surprised, you'll be very surprised. I'm six foot one. And normally, I have to put a, the front seat all the way back to be in a position to drive. Not on this car. If I'm in the all the way back position, I'm way too far away from the uh, way too far away from the steering wheel to, to to drive. Now, the steering wheel is telescopic, so you can pull it in, out, up, and down. So all of those are really really nice. Um, like I said, it is a six-speed automatic but you it is shiftable so you can use these buttons right here at the top to shift however in this video i will not be doing that i will just be letting the car shift for itself i want to show you guys that there is a backup camera on this car with adjusting guidelines so whenever you turn the wheel your guidelines move to show you your projected path you can also turn those guidelines off right here so Let's go ahead and get into drive and get going though. So I'll put it in drive. Here we go. My first impressions um, as far as seat is concerned. Seat is very comfortable. It's not very supportive. Um, and not bad. I guess the back of the seat actually has a little bit more support than a lot of other compact cars. So I actually, initial response is not bad at all. I um, obviously, I mean, I'm not, I wasn't barely on the gas there. I'm not trying to race nobody or anything, but I mean, it definitely feels smooth, you know, just accelerating, um, very smooth ride. It shifts pretty decently smooth so far, going slow. Let's see if that changes. Kind of get into this corner a little quick here, see how it does it. So it handles the corner all right. I'm gonna go ahead and get up here and kind of get on the gas a little bit to see how it performs under power. A lot of, a lot of engine noise. A lot of engine noise, Def pretty loud. A 
Okay. Let's see. One of the things I've heard about this car is that it has a automatic shut off. Yep, there it is. Auto stop. So the car has stopped as you see right there on the tachometer. But you cannot turn that feature off. So let's sh let me see this. They said it's really slow to just try to uh, turn back on whenever you get going. So let me go a little. Let me go. Let's see. Okay, not too bad to get up to highway speed. You definitely shouldn't have any problems doing so. And I actually felt the shifting was really smooth. I'd heard some mixed reviews about the shifting, but I, I didn't find any problems with it. Let's see if it's rough when it shuts off, though. I think that's what I've heard is that... No? It does, I've read that it lurches whenever it shuts off, but I definitely didn't feel that. Let me see. I also read that whenever you get going, it takes it a second to turn back on. So let me take my foot off the brake and immediately hit the gas and see how long that process is. Oh yeah, no, that's fine to me. That's no problems at all. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm really impressed. I like the way the car drives. I like the way it feels going down the road. It steers pretty good. Um, power's decent. Um, it shifts great. I've, no, I felt no problems in shifting at all, whether that's under power or just cruising along. So definitely um, some of the things you guys are going to be reading about the car, I would say are completely false. So definitely get out there and drive the car for yourself and, and see what you think. Um, overall visibility in the car is pretty good. Um, no complaints. I don't notice any massive blind spots right now. Um, so I really, that's not bad. Um, head wise, like position as far as actually sitting in the car goes, it's really good. Head's not touching the steering, or the, the roof, sorry. Um, plenty of space in front of me, as I was saying earlier. Plenty of space. Um, and yeah, it's actually really, really comfortable. I'm, I'm really enjoying this car. So guys, that is going to do it for this video. If you guys do like the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel. If you guys do have any questions, comments, concerns, anything at all, Drop a comment, you know where it's at, it's just right down there. Drop the comment, I read them all, um, and I will respond to all comments. Um, as long as they're not super negative, I, I don't respond to those. But with that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the very next episode of Is That Chad Auto Reviews. Thank you, guys.